dad always talked about these blue rail boards. He always had when he was younger, like 18, 19, and um, Al so gnarly, he, he, or he came over and he's like, I made you two blue rails like your dad's boards. He's like, and I know your dad hasn't had a board this good for 30 or 40 years. It's like, you should get one for him too, and this and that. And, I don't know, it was super funny. He's like, he, he, when he gave me this, he's like, you could walk. He was holding it and he's like, you could walk into a room with Kelly Slater and Tom Curran and tell him straight, you guys don't got a better surfboard than me. <laughs> and he's like, and that's gonna be the f truth. <laughs> so, so right when he said that, I was like, oh yeah, I'll take them both. Like, how, how much do you want? This is my Rhino Chaser. <laughs> it's uh, one that uh, Simon Jones did for me a while ago. It's a 6.0. That's all it says, 6.020. Yeah, more of the earth. And um, I guess, yeah, this is my step up. If I go bigger, it's not like I'm gonna go 5.8 enough and I go like six, six foot or bigger. And this thing's got so much volume that you can just seriously paddle into anything. And that's what I love about this board for sure. It's a beast. I've surfed it in some pretty big conditions and yeah. Got some of the better waves. I've surfed for sure on this thing. It's my clever Christensen surfboards. Come on, let's, let's take a look. This is the Ocean Racer. This board saved my life from pro surfing. Um, I would give this board to every ex-pro surfer right after their career and just hand it to them and be like, here you go, you need this. Um, it's a, this is a 411. Um, it's got sweet fins for optimal chicks. Chick, I mean my wife. Okay, Sterling, you can do this. This is my Magic Love Buzz. Yeah, this is a board I was riding a lot and filming for Greetings. 5.7 uh, Love Buzz. Um, I think it's about 19 inches wide. Yeah, really kind of flat rocker. More of a sort of small wave, high performance groveler. Super fun board. Been my favorite board probably this year. It's um, a 6 0 by 19 and a quarter, 2 and 7 16 and it's a diamond tail though, which I don't think many people had. I mean, I've never really ridden them on short boards, I've had fun boards and stuff with diamond tails, but never really short boards. And it took me a little bit to work it out, but it feels really good. Similar to like a rounded square, but a bit more directional, I think. I guess Luke just made it. I didn't ask for it or anything. So that's what's been cool about, I mean, forever, like when I've been riding Luke's boards, kind of just made random stuff for me every now and again. Like I'll get a batch of boards and get like six boards and they'll all be similar. And then there'll just be one random one. But this thing's just been an all rounder. like at the points and then surfing it on the beach breaks. I just had no problems with it. I've been really stoked on it. This is the most abstracty one, I think, out of the out of the bunch. I really clicked with this board. People often relate twenties and shorter boards to suit sort of fun, sloppier waves, but I, think I like to spend spend time on the boards and all the boards do, they deserve proper waves in any sort of circumstance. And Birch made me a board a long time ago. This thing has been really fun to try to figure out. It's a twin keel, a lot of volume, flat scoop deck. Always kind of thought I'd ride it in smaller waves and he was encouraging me to ride it when it's a bit bigger and down the line and perfect. Pretty trippy to find the sweet spot, but every now and again I'll get my feet in the right spot and uh, it works really well. Flies down the line and a lot of drive when your feet are in the right spot, but also 
if they're not, it's, it's pretty out of control. And, but yeah, really fast. Six six, uh, 18.6, 2.4. So this is a board that I took to Chopu every time I've been there. This is like as big as a board as you want for there. You don't want anything longer than that because it'll just poke. This is like your Chopes, Pipe, Puerto, Pasquale's like, I mean, I actually rode this board up to, I can't say that. Up in the Pacific Northwest, you can beat that out. <laughs> I think Marcio is one of the best gun shapers in the world. I basically told him I wanted to take out, you know, the trailer fin because the quads are so fast. You can knife anything and it's like they're almost too quick. So if you drop in late on a wave there, it's like you just get this crazy catapult off the bottom. Yeah, so basically it's more propulsion off the tail. And instead of like maybe a foam ball grabbing, you know, the back of your fin, and kind of squirreling you out and then getting off balance, you know, getting even this far off balance on a wave that big, you're like done. This is definitely my favorite shortboard right now. It's Tyler Warren Thruster. All right, so I chose this one to rad in Mexico just because I knew it was going to be a point break, just standard tubing, perfect point break. And this board is just super fast, fishtail a little more for like a little smaller-ish waves, pretty much. So uh, this board's 5'11", 19, or 18 and 3 quarters by 2 and 5 sixteenths, and it's just my perfect perfect size. I was super stoked, Tyler, uh, he gave it to me just because it was a hair thin for him, so I was stoked to be able to steal this thing off of him. It's a super simple board. It's got just kind of tuned down rails, flat-ish deck, a lot of thickness in the nose, which I like a lot. All my short boards are like, a little thicker in the nose, just for paddling and just weight. When there's a lot of, when there's more weight up here, it definitely helps you when you like are coming around and you want to like throw more spray. Pretty simple. It's got single, single all the way through, with a lot of flip out of the tail, which is perfect for the board like this and a wave of Mexico. Definitely, I'll choose this board when it's probably a little bigger and a little more like fat when the wave's a lot faster because it holds it holds a lot better it doesn't slide out and when you're bottom turning you don't get that like kind of like chattering feeling you know it feels really it's nice because this board's super super smooth it surfs just how tyler surfs pretty much just buttery smooth and just super sick So this is my 6.6 six single fin pintail. This thing basically works like a skim board with a fin. It's super flat and has hard edges and a full flat bottom. And it, I don't know, it goes really fast. Did some pin lines on this one. I realized that after I drew the pin lines when I'm surfing, the water like flows over right here and then flows off, which is kind of cool. So every board I make is pretty much a new thought in my mind. And so when I go home, I'll use 
what I learned from this board to benefit myself with the next one. And some people who have really inspired me a lot are people like Carl Ekstrom and Ryan Birch, and that's why I think I really drew closer towards liking stuff from Ryan and Carl, just because it's different. It's not your same cookie cutter, just like everyone says.